Hey guys, what's happening? Okay, so keep sending the new wood spirits or any new wood carvings that you're doing for the next video, guys, because we're almost full. I usually uh, make the video at 100 pictures or send a video of your new carvings or whatever. So I, I just did a little Dremel um, cordless thing on this. Um, I, I carved this guy with a cordless Dremel, the 8220, on the beach. And that's what the battery lasted, okay? So what I'm going to do in this video today is quickly... You know, your carving's your investment. Anything with your time is an investment, guys. You know what I mean? Zoom in. Anything with your time is an investment. So your carving is an investment. It's an investment for you. So, you know, I already did this investment on the beach. I'm going to clean this guy up so I make him look better. Look at his nose. His nose sticks out so far as so thin because it was at a real sharp point. At that carving, you know what I mean? You can see the po some of the point there. It was like a triangle. That's the best way to carve a wood spirit to get your nose pop out the farthest, guys. This guy's nose is a little bit skinny, but I had a real time hard time holding the Dremel and stuff like that. Anyways, on to the carving. So, this definitely could be a carving. It could be done in itself. I could clean up the wood or just stain it the way it is or put treatment on it the way it is after I clean up this guy more. But I want to challenge myself and make the carving even better. Okay, so if you think you, you want to challenge yourself, make your carving better, then do it. Or if you think this is good enough and it's done, then leave it. You know, it's, it's your call. That's what makes it art. You're the artist. Do what you want to do and don't give a shit what anybody else thinks, okay? So this, this is going to be an open mouth, like a ghost spirit, okay? This is just going to be a big open mouth. This guy's not going to have a beard or anything. Just a big open mouth, like a ghost. Okay, so his nose is going to be, I already got it drawn on. His nose is going to be here. Okay, and this eye might it might get carved out there. You might not even see that side of the spirit. But then his eye will be here too. I think there's going to, see right here? I think that's going to go all the way up under and it's, I'm going to find some punkiness in the nose. Like um, right here kind of example. Here, there's some punky wood right there. See that? Right there, right here. That's punky wood in there, rotten wood. So I think that's going to travel all the way under there, down here. But anyways, let me get to carving and uh, let's see. I'm going to once again, guys, for the millionth time, I'm using the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr. This is a pretty brand new burr. Um, I love the Extreme Burrs, guys. They last a lot longer for me than any other type. Um, all, all um, whatever. Just shut up, Jordy, and start carving. But if you want to... Full, go to the cuts all site just look in the description below use the code cfusion to save yourself five percent it's not a lot but it's something okay start carving Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that when I was carving, but all in here went rotten. That's all soft, punky wood in here. Okay, all that wood in here. See, you can see the color difference there. So now my nose is lopsided, right? My nose is like, kind of like it's going this way because I had to carve that part of the nose off. So you guys just gotta fix your adjustments, you know what I mean? 
Who cares if its nose is crooked anyways? It's a friggin' wood spirit. Doesn't doesn't have to be perfect. So this guy has, I gave him, he's got a little mustache kind of fading into nowhere. So I don't know, I'm going to look at this piece for a little bit. I know I'm going to try and straighten out the nose a bit. Cut some of that off there because it's, the nose is pretty straight up and down here. And it goes on a slope that way. So I'm going to take that slope and bring it back straight up and down kind of. Just try it. It's not going to be perfect, guys. Remember what I said? It's an investment and it's a challenge, right? So, whatever. That's what it is. Okay guys, so I got some really bad news, but it could be good news too. You know, when you're carving wood spirits or whatever you're carving, and you're a beginning carver, here comes the news. You're not building a goddamn spaceship. You're not working for NASA. So it doesn't have to look like a spaceship, okay? Uh, I was going to make a helmet in here, but I didn't see that working. So empty spaces, guys. What do you call it, Pete? Negative spaces. How is that for a negative space, okay? So it is what it is. I couldn't, couldn't get this bit of rod out of here. Let's see if it... You can't even see it in the back. That's why I didn't think there was any in there, but that's okay. It's an old, crusty piece of wood. That's what it is. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to run my little flap sander here, custom made carbon infusion flap sander. Somebody point, somebody showed me how to do this on YouTube actually. One of my subs or a friend or something. Just one eighth nut, nut and bolt, fits in your Dremel. Run your real, Dremel real slow. You guys can see this is cloth back sandpaper. It lasts five times as long as normal sandpaper. Little washer. I got a rubber washer in there. I'm going to try that. So hopefully this thing won't turn off because the speed your dremel when you turn your dremel this wants to loosen off right it's just if you could fi find uh, reverse threads guys that would be the best but yeah so what i'm going to do is run around and hit i'm going to leave lots of this gray on because when you stay in this gray or oil it or whatever you want to do it goes really here spit test spit test look how dark it goes spit test boogers so, anyways, I'm going to run around and I'm going to highlight some high points with this so you can see the wood color around here. Just make it look more haunted. You know what I mean? Haunted. Ooh, Halloween's coming. Better start carving pumpkins. there the whole thing comes undone because I didn't back up the double bolt to a single bolt back there and now I have to double it up that rubber wash is not good enough see? you guys can see here there's already a bolt on there and uh, I'm just gonna double it up shit like this pisses me off okay let's try this for the third time
you guys want a hand sand, go ahead. I'm just saying this saves lots of time. Okay, guys, you got to run these really slow, really slow. This is the second one that I'm going through on the sanding on process of this uh, carving. So you see it's sanding up pretty nice. Weathered old soul up there, weathered old soul. This guy's like a little goblin or something like that. And um, what I'm doing to clean up inside the nostrils and then in the eye sockets, you can't use this or it'll just, I don't know, it just won't work, it won't get in there. So I'm using this little, um, this is a metal working burr. You can buy them on eBay for sets of 10. Just type in uh, metal working burrs, one eighth. And uh, yeah, I just run my Dremel really slow. <laughs> And it's okay when you're running your Dremel slow to leave the shaft out long because you're not running at high speed and it won't wobble. So that's why it's longer out so I can get inside the nostrils and in the eye sockets. So let me spend a few more minutes sanding this sucker up and uh, we'll call it a wrap. Okay guys, so here it is done to the best I want this piece done. Let's see here. So what I'm going to do with this piece now, I'm going to take it outside and put some spar varnish on it. I want this piece to be shiny. First I'm going to spray it with sand sealer. That seals the wood, so say if this is more soft wood than this is, okay, soft wood, hard wood right here. The softwood will, will suck in the spar varnish a lot more than the hardwood and it will be dull here and the hardwood won't suck it in that much and you'll still see this varnish. But sanding sealer seals all the wood prehand so it's like a hard coat of plastic on the outside of the wood so the wood can't suck in the spar varnish or any kind of varnish that you want to use. Okay, if you guys got any questions on that just feel free to ask me. It's um, pretty handy stuff. So I'm going to go outside and do that. Enjoy the sun for a bit. I got a lot of cleaning up to do today because um, I got to uh, unload my car and clean, wash my car inside and out. It's just gross from the island trip and all my carving equipment in there. So let's go outside and put some sealer on this. Okay, so this is a sanding sealer that I use. It's a, it's a brand called Mohawk. It's a two-part catalyst sealer. So that means when it comes out of the can, it will, well, pretend it's crazy glue and it, it, it epoxy two part and it dries in 15 minutes. Okay, so this seals the wood. And I don't have any paint brushes, so I'm not going to uh, put the spar varnish on it today. See the dark spots really go dark. Anyways, I'll get this done. Yeah, so this is the nightmare mess that I get to uh, unload. I'll get you next time. Yeah, I'm pretty full. Christmas better hurry up and get over here. So here's the final piece, guys. Turned out all right. You know, something like this, it takes a person a while longer to kind of clue in what's going on, you know what I mean? Negative spaces, Pete, negative spaces. Um, yeah, but you can see how a crusty old piece of wood turns into something pretty beautiful, eh? I wanna show you guys this other piece, wherever it is that I've been working on. This was a really piece of old punky wood. Okay, with wormholes and everything throughout it. I burnt the hell out of it, okay? Burnt the hell out of it. Then sanded it, then put like three coats of that uh, spar on it. But you can see faces hidden in there. See, there's one there, there's one there. There's one, uh, well, there's a couple more in here. Now there's one up there, and there's one down here, and yeah. So, but I'm gonna try and somehow get like a red light in there or something so it comes out all the holes. But that's pretty cool, you know what I mean? 
put on the wall. It's like an old haunted piece. Hope everybody's doing good and uh, enjoying the summer and getting out there enjoying the sun and getting lots of carving done when it's raining. And um, if you want to like this video, that's cool. If you want to subscribe, even better. If not, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy.